Hello, I'm called Atim Grace and I'm working in Vision for Africa International. It's an NGO looking after orphans and right now I work as the manager at African Village Hotel, a section in Vision for Africa. Uh, at the hotel we are about 60 staff and the hotel has grown. When I came in 2009 I think we had about maybe 30 rooms only, the cottages, and now we have expanded, but it's still not enough because the place is so good for prayers and conferences. So I really invite everybody out there, come and visit us here in Vision for Africa and have a touch of African food because so many have given testimonies that their time here was so good. For me, I was born in Jinja and uh, I'm from northeastern Uganda, Soroti. So my parents were, were transferred to work here in Kampala. So we also studied in Kampala. And then to come to Vision for Africa, I had already worked in two places, two hotels. And for Vision for Africa, I read in the newspaper that they wanted a housekeeper, so I applied. That is how I came here. But it is so interesting that when I came, uh, the, we were about 25 people and they only wanted three. So in my heart I said, oh, do I get this job? I, I don't know. But when I went for the interviews, um, I was talking to them, to the interviewers, as if it was not an interview. It was so free and I could tell them everything, the truth, even what was not nice maybe in me because they wanted married people. Uh, to, to work in the organization. I told them I'm not married, but we are thinking of going for a church marriage. Yeah, so I'm so grateful that it really happened like this. Uh, but before, it was just work, work, and I would go to church, but so limited time. I didn't really have enough time to be with my Lord and talk to God. Uh, but when I came to Vision in 2009, I really met the Lord and I even got baptized. That is being born again, dying with Christ. Actually, before I came to Vision for Africa, I sometimes thought of committing suicide because I, I didn't, my parents, my mother died in 1999 and my father died in 2017. So we only remained as children. Sometimes I had nobody to talk to. You have some pressing issues in the heart. You are not going to church maybe where a, a pastor would maybe uh, counsel you or something. And you cannot trust everybody to counsel you because some people would go and talk about you and you feel bad about it. So, but when I came to Vision for Africa, I went into the Lord so much and all these teachings, the discipleship, I'm so grateful that I have removed this fear of committing suicide. I no longer have it completely. We are also doing discipleship now for all the staffs and all the children, which is very good for the kingdom of God. You know, it's, it's nice to be taught. We can't know anything when we are not taught. But when we have a spiritual leaders who can teach us and we understand it better. Fine, I am working as a hotel manager now, but I came in 2009 as a, a housekeeper and I had to grow uh, bit by bit, spiritually and uh, physically, and also for my career, I have grown. In the past before, I was so shy and I, I could not imagine myself being a leader. But when I came to Vision for Africa, I really learned a lot. And I grew spiritually and physically through a lot of like trainings and also watching the leaders here in Vision for Africa. So I could see what they are doing and I really say, oh, that's a very good example. I would like to follow the way Mama Maria conducts herself, the way Pastor Isaac, Bishop uh, Ambale, and all these people have been close, but before it was just work. So I'm so thankful to be in Vision for Africa. I have been here since 13 years now, and I'm so grateful up to today. At first, I was somebody who fears to talk to people. I can't talk to a big crowd of people, but I had uh, my boss before she was called Eva Maria, and she really taught me a lot. Whenever we had like conferences, 
should just say grace you as my assistant now come let's talk to the guests welcome them maybe like 400 people 500 people and i would just fear in my heart i say what am i going to say how am i going to do it but she would just take me and when she finishes talking i also have to say something but i got out of that fear and i was also teaching students housekeeping and every time I was teaching them, I had this fear. If a student asks me something and I don't know, I was like, Ooh, I would even sweat even when it's raining. But all this fear went out. I needed practice and people to encourage me. Um, so I'm really thankful. And one day, I, like for two, three months now, I was thinking, how can I tell the people that God can give you a potential? If you really take yourself ahead and be used by God, this, this fear is not from God. Because when I was fearing, it means I could not bring out my potential. But right now I want to say, everybody should, if you feel something in your heart that you should do this, pray to God that he will really bring people who can help you. Because I had people who helped me to this extent. And I'm also so grateful that uh, Vision for Africa has already looked after over 5,000 children who are out of the program now. They are working and we still have more, about 600 something, who are still students here. And I thank God for Vision for Africa because um, so many whites come here and um, they are sponsoring children. And Mama Maria coming from Austria also to come and uh, look after us here it's really great much as she's spreading the word of god but she has improved the life of so many students so many children so many staff and every staff has about like more than 20 people they look after because of vision for africa so i'm really so thankful it's vision for africa and other african countries are always also asking mama maria when are you coming it's vision for africa so let them just wait maybe time is not yet uh, she will come there. Or oh, it is us who have been trained by vision who will come there for you. For you, And uh, we have to wait for God's timing. Mm -hmm. If you feel in your heart God has touched you to do something, please come and contribute because so many lives have been changed here. And the Bible says when you do good, good comes back to you. And when you give to the ministry, it will also come to you as a blessing. Only that God does not come and tell you really that I have blessed you because you did this, uh, but something will be, your life will change and there will be happiness in your life. It's good to give, but that is if you feel really you're touched in your heart to help the children in Uganda. But we do appreciate for those who are already doing it and we still invite others. Please come to the hotel, come and feel the African way. It is not so developed, it's not so what, but we shall pray together and maybe something changes. <laughs> yeah.